When we started off the clinic in 1973, our people were li some of our people were living in the park, Musgrave Park, and they were in badly need of medical attention. They would never go to the Martyr, they would never go to Royal Brisbane Mainstream, they would never go to that. And when we started the clinic at Red Hill, by word of mouth it got out that they had their own clinic, which is more culturally, I use that word quite a, a lot because that's what we are, and that's what we need, uh, culturally appropriate. And then by word of mouth, it got, not only was uh, Brisbane established, we had outer areas too that established health services. The organisation and the board wanted to give people that opportunity and to understand that you can make a difference in two people's lives, but you can also make a difference to your own life. And you'll be valued as a nurse and your skills are valued across the whole community for everybody. But attracting Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people to our service is of great importance to us. It makes a difference to the client to know that they're dealing with an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander person. Their understanding of the world is within a black construct. So it makes the work easier in some ways and more complex in others, you know, but having our Indigenous staff is fundamental to our organisation and empowering and supporting Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people to be the best that they possibly can and know that they are valued as staff members is, is fundamental to who we are. The scholarship was created because we wanted to promote more of our mob in the nursing field. We've got a legacy, we've got a story, we've got eldership, we've got Indigenous knowledge, we've got Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture all being brought together. There's so many different layers to what we're attempting to do by privileging Aunty Pam's story. And then upon graduation, the ideal at those, is that those students will actually go back into that service and continue Aunty Pam's work. So there's a full circle and then those students would mentor and support other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students that are coming through the program, the way Aunty Pam Mam mentored and supported Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander nurses working within the service. The organisation, I think it's an apt scholarship for us to be able to uh, put out there for any undergraduate Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander nurse to walk in the footsteps of someone that was great. You know, this is, this is something that, that our services have grown but they had to start from somewhere, and she was one of the catalysts. Well, not only in Brisbane, I mean, we've uh, got calls from the Torres Strait inquiring about the scholarship, and uh, if we could open it up to the wider Indigenous community, that would be good, with the hopes that when they've completed their nurses' training, that they would come back and work into uh, their own community. I would encourage all those girls that are, and boys that are working in the, in, the, uh, in the university come back when they've completed, got their degree, come back and work for their own people.